Hello everybody! Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition here on our Star Trek colony where it's one disaster after another. <laughs> oh, we're back to oxygen issues over here. Yay! We were... Well, it's because we didn't get this. Ah, yes, we... Eh. Um, build that first. So we can get the other oxygen flowing. That'll help. Especially since we seem to be bringing in on gases of some sort. I'm not sure. <laughs> not, not sure on that. Alright, anyways. Okay, you're coming in stressed, of course, so you're banging your head, but at least you're getting this taken care of. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, over here, we haven't done anything. Same same reason. Day-night cycle, day-night cycle. That's not the reason, but uh, reason we haven't had enough oxygen. Yeah, but maybe... Maybe... They'll come... Do stuff at some point. I mean, the, the building on this side a little bit, I guess, but... Alright. Not a huge priority, but... We'll get there. <laughs> Alright, Aquilian, of course, it, we might have craziness over here with Spock trying to murder himself. Okay, we got that done. Which means we can put... This back. There we go. And we can dig those out. All right, cool. We got, we got so much going on all over the place, but it is all good. All, all, all good. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, back to a bundle. Did we get this built? We did. Did we transport the gas? We did. Is this now running? It is. Of course, it's bringing up carbon. It'll filter the carbon here. That's fine. These think they're all broken, even though they're not. But uh, this is running. We just need to pump out the, the gas in here because we've got all this carbon dioxide. Fortunately, nothing else can get in here. We've got enough supplies to keep this running for quite some time until we get this built. So we'll we'll work on that, but um yeah. <laughs> uh fun, 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 fun stuff. Okay, we almost got this entirely enclosed, which is good. Um, this thing is still it's active. Is it rising in temperature in there? No. Probably because we've got a door so it can come out. Gas is cold. See, now we want... Yeah, I think we're going to have to seal this. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this. And we're going to put a, a door door there. Because this thing puts out hot. And we want to seal it. And pull the heat out into the pipes. That's the goal. Because we got to heat this arm up. We've got, you know, a, a structure here to take the hot gas, throw it through radiant pipes in here, and then and dump it out. So, we'll see if we can get that going. Meanwhile, um, what do these things need for fertilization? Well, if the cat would move, move her butt, I could maybe see. Oh, sand. Yay! We, we need more sand. I'm, I'm going to assume... We got tofu now. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to assume we're out of sand. Again. Yeah. We're out of sand. How much sand do we got over here? I'm, I'm assuming... We, okay, we got 94 tons of sand. There. Uh, whoops. It, not there. Natrial. Sand. 100 and, 106 sand. All right. Well, 
let's let's send over sand here. Do sand, sand, sand. Not consumable filtration medium. Sand. Mm. Okay, send that sand, guys. I want this filled up. Others, other people's lives are depending on you to do this. You know, so. We need sand. This is the only time I get you guys over here is, is when I turn on the alarm. It's kind of sad. Mainly because they've got so much to do just to maintain this right here. That it definitely creates a bottleneck. Okay, we're going to go for all 20,000 kilograms. 20 tons. And just stick it over there. So... Good luck. Keep it going. Alarm, alarm, alarm. We have the alarm. We're fine on stress. I don't want to overstress them, but I just need to stress that we need sand in the other colony. Okay, we're up to five tons. That's not enough. There we go, we've got three more dupes coming in. Oh good, that one went up a lot. 7,000. 8,000. Good, good, good. Keep them, keep it coming. Where are you guys getting the sand from, anyways? I see, so you're coming up here, you're coming up here, you're collecting it from up here. Ah, okay. Alright, yeah, we got lots of sand up here. Cool. Oh, that's fine. What do we got? Another plug slug. Yeah, I don't know if we have space for the plug slug. All right, we're going to change that down to an eight. Go ahead and start sending sand over. That should be good. Um, I mean, we've got plug slugs over here. I don't know if we're going to utilize the plug slugs because they require metal and that's something that we are limited on we don't have any volcanoes metal volcanoes so it's more of a food thing than anything else actually we'll just put him over here cool all right Okay, so we've got this all the way across, this one almost across, not quite, but getting closer. We have uh, two more of those to build in the end here. Well, that's really good. Okay, so this thing is erupting. Now it's supposed to be at 500 C. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. It's just so cold, and it. I think because it's so full. Alright. We, we said we were gonna do this. We're gonna put in that door there. Alright, and then we need a place to put the carbon. Because we wanna pull it out of here and put it into here. We're definitely going to have to use one of these. We're gonna, for now, we're going to stick it right there. That's fine. Okay, you're working on the last two. We'll be able to start focusing in another area. Ah, a lot of episodes to get all of this done, but it's worth it. Cool, and you have built the pipe too. Alright, so this is completely sealed in. We just need the innards. And then to heat it up so that temperature-wise, it's good. Um, part of that heating is going to come from our piping, which we have not built. So, because these things take polluted water. Oops. No, no, no. Poor 
course. I, I, I had to select the whole thing. Once I get, once you click the mouse, you're doomed. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Um, nosh beans take ethanol. So we need polluted water here to go all the way over. Short on polluted water too, but we can bring excess polluted water over if we get the the other farms built in, in Aquilian. All right. Um, where do we? What's the easiest way to do this? I guess through here. I mean, right. We, we don't want it to cool down, though, because we have to heat it up to use the stuff. Probably easiest to come through here. Won't need that. So, do, 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 do. Cycle, 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 change. Come on. Go. There we go. And there we go. All right, cool. That'll keep them from going back and forth. Hey, look at this. We actually grew something down here. <laughs> All right. Cool. Now, the only thing we didn't do is put in a grooming station for these guys. Do we want to? We'd only need, like, one. I mean, we could... We could cancel this one and then put a I mean I, I'm not I'm not saying we need cuddle pips but the eggs could provide good a good food source as well or whether they're pips or cuddle pips and and there are benefits what do they do here they're pesky Thimble reeds. I haven't had a map that's had thimble reeds in ages. It's like they took them out of the game. Um, so they subsist on the arbor tree branches. They bury seeds. I'm just looking if if there's a benefit. Is there a benefit to the tree at all? I don't think there's a benefit to the tree. Yeah. So I don't know if it, all of this, if, if the pips are necessary. I mean, like I said, it potentially, you know, gets us more food for the map for now. So that, whoops, that can be a, a plus. You see, we should... Not that we have these, but I always tag it so if something happens, something comes along, some resource pops up, you know, we can turn it into food. Did we get these hatches picked up? No, we did not. This guy's going to starve. This guy hatched. Oh, well, we did. Because that's a new one. All right. Um, so this is going to be regular. Okay, so we, we need to move on this stuff. We need that. We need one of these. Food perspective. That. That. All right. Those are priority nine. These are going to be our things. Um... What are we feeding them right now? We're feeding these hatchlings, we were feeding sedimentary rock. 
stone hatchling or hatches. We're feeding obsidian and sedimentary. How much obsidian do we have? Well, there's a lot we haven't mined, but. Says we have zero. No, we. Okay, now it's calculating. We have 25.9 ton. Okay, so this needs to have obsidian as well. I'm just gonna put it on a nine so that it collects it if we have any sedimentary rock. Um, these guys, if we have sedimentary rock, we'll get it. This one is going to be our smooth hatch. Um, that's always an issue because they require metal. We can do iron, cobalt, gold, aluminum. We need to look at what do we have the most of that will be comfortable for those guys. I wish this would default collapsed all times, but it doesn't matter. You close them all. It opens back up every, the next time you come into it. It's annoying. They should fix that. All right. We, the most we have is iron ore on this map. Um, just a quick look. We got some iron up here still. A little bit of aluminum. Come on, day-night cycle change. A little bit of aluminum down there, or over there, I should say. Um, no metals there. We've got quite a bit of aluminum down here. Aluminum, I think we'll keep. We'll, we'll feed them iron for now. So we're going to put iron ore here. There we go. Cool. All right, so let's get critters in here. Let's get our smooth hatch. I don't necessarily need these, but, you know, we keep wrangling them, but we're not delivering them where we need to. That's, okay, well, we delivered one. That's good. All right, they're all happy. Okay, we delivered two. Smooth. Er, no, not yet. We will. We gotta wrangle them first. Okay, so this is also going to be smooth hatchling iron. Okay. okay, they're trust. Come pick him up. Fine, guys, you can do it. Pick him up. No, no. We can deconstruct that. And we can deconstruct that. All right, I appreciate your feeding, but can you pick these guys up? Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Oh, you picked up obsidian. Okay, you've got the smooth hatch. All right, that's good, that's good. Of course, we'll have to have this. Did we ever get the research done? We obviously did not. What? is our researcher doing insufficient water oh there's no fresh water empty there's no water on the map because we haven't been dumping any water. That makes sense. So this one's gonna dump into here. We just need to... right there right 
Priority. Construction. No, that didn't... It doesn't like... Okay, it doesn't like that spot, I guess. Where were we taking this? Nowhere. Alright. Deconstruct this one. I wonder why we're not getting any research done. It's like, where's the water? Okay. Get that mopped up, guys. <laughs> Alright. Now. Now there's water flowing. Okay, good. Good. So we've got water coming down to deliver. Alright, well, let's get... we got some piping here we can get rid of, it looks like. So, just to clean things up, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. That one. Not much to clean up, but <laughs> it's something... <laughs> All right, this this here uh, disable nine. D disable this. D disable. There we go. All right. Cool. Why do we have polluted water over here? I don't know. We had polluted water though. Now we have no power. <laughs> Because it's nighttime. <laughs> oh, and we never finished this yet. Unreachable build. <laughs> My goodness so gracious me. Oh, this is just fun. Come on, day night cycle. <laughs> it's not that hard to do. Oh, look at this. We've got it. Oh, we've got it backed up now. <laughs> uh, all right. Enable. <laughs> There. So we're not we're not pushing the hydrogen through or anything else through. <laughs> My goodness. Um, enable. All right. Disable. Disable. <laughs> okay. Cancel that. We have no polluted water there, so we're fine. That can be repaired at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I am worried because look at this. We're almost out here. Um, how do we get more polluted water down there? This is going to be a long time before it's built. We need to. We do need to turn this on to get water into our steel processor. So we can do that at least. Now we have no power over here as well. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let's enable that. I don't even know if it's on the same circuit. It's not. A completely different circuit. So enabling this does nothing. We need to power it here. Oh, my goodness. Struggle, 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 struggle. Have some ice. It can melt, turn into water, and pour down here. <laughs> uh, the right, 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 right. Okay, so that's running. Okay, we've got the flow going again. That is getting us here. How come this one isn't getting any gas because the first one was sucking it almost all up. There's just not enough flow. Okay, I get it. Alright. So let's uh, priority construction nine. Let's get this done. That additional power. <laughs> oh, we got two things built here. Hey, how about that? Progress. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that completes this episode. Obviously, the struggle is real. We do have progress all over the place. I mean, that is a positive in that we are making progress. Um, so that's good. That does mean that we can do some stuff, um, you know, to get things done. Like we can go ahead and mine out the top.
top of that completely. I don't think we can reach it all, but we'll try. Um, in here, we can mine that, and we can get all of this mined out, finally. So this tank is good. We can also analyze this. So that's good. In here, oxygen-wise, not doing too hot yet. We still haven't delivered um, the algae over here. So, you know, that's a little bit of an issue. And we haven't cleaned that up, although it's producing oxygen, so it's tempting to leave it. Um, okay, so they are getting the wire to the pump done. All right. It's active. So we can take this somewhere. We're barely holding on down here with this, but we'll figure it out. All right, anyways, next episode, we will continue our construction boom on all of our different worlds and see how we're doing. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everybody. Take care.